The second act of Dark Souls is nearing its end. Some would even say that it's over after defeating the Gwyndolin. It's kinda subjective, but in my opinion, to finish second act you need to visit Ariandel's painting. And to do that, you have to slay FromSoft's first real instance of reusing assets. You have to defeat Stray Demon. As I said in a previous episode, to get to the painting, you have to revisit Northern Asylum. Again, I could spend half an hour praising the subtle, non-intrusive design of Dark Souls world, but it's not time nor place for that. You are in Asylum, you are going back to the origin of this journey. You wanna go, sit again at that bonfire where all that started. You go through the... Now you have to deal with Asylum's demon copycat. Do you remember when I said that in Dark Souls, FromSoft began to experiment, if only a bit, with a way the boss is introduced to the player, or even with the way the player is informed about the boss fight happening. Stray Demon is kinda the first boss without the fog wall. You're just minding your own business, exploring and then you fall down to the boss arena. Technically Asylum Demon didn't have one either, at least when you first open the door. This way of organically connecting, transitioning between gameplay mechanics from exploration into a boss fight is one of my favorite tropes in From Software games. But there are other bosses, especially in future games, with way better execution of this concept. And I will talk more about it, like way more in the future. And for now, let me talk a bit about the elephant in the room, about the FromSoft's reusing assets. Stray Demon is almost an exact copy of Asylum Demon. The only change is he has staff instead of the hammer and he also have two new AoE attacks. Frosoft basically copy pasted this enemy and called it a boss fight. Well, that's true and while reusing assets in such obvious way has its downsides, it's actually not that simple. I don't think that it is that bad. He is an optional boss, way off the beaten track. Yes, he is technically required to get to the Ariandel's painting, but you don't really have to kill him to get the peculiar doll. If you don't like him, don't fight him. On the other hand, reusing bosses like this dilutes the boss list. This problem was extremely apparent in Sekiro and Elden Ring for some people, but we won't get ahead of ourselves. And this is also subjective. Some see it as a real problem, and some doesn't seem to be bothered by it. They just ignore those bosses and make the most out of the truly great encounters. This is a very complex problem, and I don't wanna pretend that I have an answer for you whether reusing assets in Souls games is a good practice or not. This series is on analyzing bosses, and while reusing bosses is technically a design decision and it can sometimes lead to really memorable encounters like in the case of certain Dark Souls 3 boss or some Sekiro bosses, I don't think analyzing the arguments for and against such practice fits this series. When time comes, I will definitely talk more about this trope. I will tell you how it influences the experience, what potential emotions it can arouse in the player. But like I've said, FromSoft didn't do much with this concept here, so it would be a waste of such an interesting topic on such an inspiring boss reskin. For now you can just tell me your opinion on the reskin bosses subject in a comment somewhere maybe. I can only add that making games is extremely, extremely hard and there are many limitations designers, programmers have to face. Among them are time and budget constraints. Maybe they wanted to make a new enemy for this encounter or change the Asylum Demon in a more significant way. I don't and I will never know if it was due to time or budget constraints or both, but looking at the game as a whole and at the future games I can definitely tell you that it wasn't because they were lazy or unambitious. Hidetaka Miyazaki and his team, from what I can tell, are anything but unambitious. When you defeat him, you get 20,000 souls. Titanite slap, one humanity and one homer bone. Thanks for watching, to the next time.